Over the years, Minecraft's had many new mobs that have been introduced to the game. So long are the days of the creeper and the zombie being under Mojang's spotlight. Now we have hoglins, piglins, striders, drowns, and of course the bees. But the real question is, what are the forgotten mobs of Minecraft? As in, what are the most untalked about mobs that are in fan lore that have completely been left behind? That's what we'll be finding out in this video. Hey guys, this is MindBuild77, and I'm glad you're all here. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more from me, you can go check out my Discord server in the description below. Now, onto the video. Mob number one, the Killer Rabbit. Now this was a joke mob added to the game back in July of 2014. The mob originally would bleed when attacked by a player, but having only three health points, this Herobrine looking mob is very easy to kill. However, as time went on, the Killer Rabbit became less and less of a feature to the game, and from mid-2015 on, the aggressive mob can only be spawned in Minecraft Pocket Edition with the use of command blocks. So this mob died out in the community due to it no longer being part of the game. Mob number 2, the Monster of the Ocean Depths. Now this mob was actually never in the game, and was one of the three mobs for the 2017 mob vote. Sadly, it didn't win. But I think that this is the perfect example of a pretty cool mob that no one talks about anymore, and has been forgotten throughout the years. The only fact we know about the creature is that it is hostile, and apart from that, we can only speculate what its other features could have been. I might make another video focusing in on this mob. At mob number 3, we have the Endermites. Now this creature closely resembles the Endermen, and they actually are supposed to be related in the game. The only strange thing is that the Endermites don't spawn in the end, which is where most people would associate them with. And I believe that it's due to this fact of them spawning in the wrong dimension that they are no longer talked about in the game. However, since there's nothing particularly special about this mob, people don't give it a second thought. This mob is more of a pest of the game, like the silverfish. So because it's a very unwanted mob to be around, the community has forgotten all about them. Mob number 4, the Supercharged Creeper. Now this is an iconic mob. The rare entity starts out as a regular creeper, but if struck by lightning, which is like a one in a million chance, they then turn into something resembling a god creeper. They will have a blue glow around them when supercharged, and they also have twice the amount of attack damage of a normal creeper. Surprisingly though, their health stays the same when supercharged, and like I said, the only thing that changes is their attack ability and strength. But still, you probably wouldn't want to get into a fight with one of these things. And the final mob that I have for this video are the humans in the game. And you might be thinking to yourself right now, why is MimeBuild saying that humans are forgotten while they're the actual avatars that you use to play the game with? But if you think about it, humans are actually never talked about in the game lore. I mean, Steve and Alex are both humans, and they are both very popular features of the game, but no one seems to talk about them as mobs. I think that the main reason for this is that the human mob is the character that you actually use to play the game with and you can't really find any other humans while wandering around like you do with the other mobs. And yes, I am aware that there are the villagers in the game, but they're not really considered or talked about in the same way as Alex and Steve. The villagers are their own separate mobs, therefore. So it's funny how debatable the most popular thing in the game, aka Steve, is not even considered as a mob. But the truth is, Alex and Steve are both mobs. But the real question is, where did they come from? And why is there only two of them in the whole game? Which is a question for another video. But there you have it, my top five forgotten mobs in the game of Minecraft. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.